Sonia Dewing is a multi-award-winning author, creative writer, and book writing coach. Recently nominated for a New Mexico Entertainment Top Author Award, she is also an award-winning publisher and founder of the Women's Thriller Writers Association. Tonight, she talks about her new thrillers anthology and a new tool for writers. Thank you for coming on the show. This is so great to have you on here. I know, absolutely. We're designated I'm writer for the magazine. So <laughs> you've had a busy 2023. So I have. let's start there. Let's do some coverage. What's been up? Okay. Okay. Well, um, I was up for the New Mexico Entertainment Award, yeah. right? And I lost to George R. R. Martin, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right? I'm okay with that. Uh, but uh, Good to know. I mean, right? he, since he hasn't really written anything, you right? have a good chance to try for it. All right. Well, um, so in October, I published Thrill Hers, which is an anthology of stories of strong women in isolated locations. Ooh, and wow. that came, the whole anthology idea came from my association, which is the Women's Thriller Writers Association. And the, the group, we just started talking about things we could do together. And we love this idea of stories of women in isolated locations who are strong and get through terrible things to come out, you know, with, with happy, yeah. happy stories at the end. Yeah. So how many authors are involved? I mean, you wrote it, it's an anthology. So is it is it a collection of stories from different authors? Yes. Or you okay? So tell tell us about some of the authors that were yeah. involved in the project. So there are ten authors altogether, and so each one wrote their own story, and then also we have the last story in the book is a collaboration between four authors, and so that one, it was, you know, I wanted a nice number. I wanted a ten stories, and we only had nine, and so I put it out to the group and. They were like, well, why don't we write a shared story? And it was definitely, it was it was a lesson in what not to do <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> um, because we didn't really, like I, I just said, here's here's the location. Here's kind of the loose plot. Let's get started. Just go. Yeah. And then people were like, wait, what? You know, there were a lot of questions. And some people wrote things like, uh, you know, I'm a foodie. And one of the authors wrote that, you know, all the they're all, all the characters are on an island for a memorial. And like she ate, they eat, they ate bean soup. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no one's eating bean soup on this story. So I, I invented a, a caterer who comes and makes real food. Right. So we, we kind of figured out the, the, the flow after a while. So it worked. And yeah, so these stories are like everywhere from, um, one character buys a hotel in the, in the ski area at the Poconos of Pennsylvania. Right, she's working on the hotel by herself, mm -hmm. and um, and just all kinds of different locations and fun stories. So I I have seen you like create just stuff out of thin air like that. Yeah, I, I mean, what I, I know you're working with different. There's different individuals involved. Did this take longer? Was it more of a effort? to finalize this than the other projects you've done before? Well, it's definitely more work when you're working with other authors yeah. because you've got to collect information. You've got to get, get you know, you got to be like on them, like I need your story by this date. <laughs> and then I had, I read all the stories, made sure they were completely edited. And then I also kind of put them in an order that felt good. You know, they kind of work one story after work, another kind of works in a way. Yeah. And it definitely takes more work, but I feel like this was so worth it. It was such a fun project. Well, let's talk about this project, <laughs> which I, I honestly thought was cool. So tell us about the Writer's Planner. <laughs> okay, so the Writer's Planner, for the last two years, I've been wanted my own, wanting my own planner that I could focus on writing. Because this year, I want to publish a book every two months. I know, a it's insane. Every two months. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you know, we yeah. gotta have a goal. <laughs> That's a goal. That's a goal. And so I wanted a planner to go with that idea. And so for the last two years, I've been trying to figure out how to make it happen. And so this is a culmination. It's, it's a weekly, you can see a week on a page. You can, it's not for anyone who's gonna plan day by day, I mean, hour by hour of their life. This is a planner. That if you, you know, you put down your appointments and you put down your goals and you, so it's got goal setting, it's got resources for writers, but, and then the planner itself 
is you put in your goals for writing, marketing, publishing. Yeah, so. That's a, br that's a brilliant yeah. idea. So Thank you. Before we, we run out of time, just yeah. tell us what you have coming with this whole goal you have. <laughs> Do you have an idea of what you'll be doing here in the future? Yes. My next story, I don't have a title for it yet, but a young woman, she's, uh, she's found out, she's a former thief. She's found out that the world is in danger. And she sends messages out to her former lovers to see who will help her. Oh, my goodness. I just love you. Just give me <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we are looking forward to that. Congratulations on the book and the thank planner. You. And, yes, thank, so, you. thank you for coming out tonight and talking with us. Yeah. And I am looking forward to what you do in 2024. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs>